What is up guys? This is Shadow Blaze Phoenix and welcome to part 3 of my Pokemon Conquest walkthrough. Anyways, in this part we'll be taking on Greenleaf, the grass type kingdom. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's go on with the battle. So the Warlord of Greenleaf uses grass type Pokemon. That means our fire types should shine, which we only have one of. Water, water types will be in for a long hard battle though. Select warriors taking a battle against Greenleaf, and yes, uh, I'll trade them. You don't need to bring the free warrior, as you know. Uh, it's only that it's only you and Oichi to have to go. So yeah, but obviously the free warrior will be helping. I shall not surrender. My my will to succeed is unshakable. Uh, Rikyu, I think that's the name. It's Rikyu, or something like that. Blaze's army has appeared in Monotory's Greenleaf. So yeah, it's just a Mon Monotory or Monotory. I don't know. The Kingdom of Greenleaf. Hmm. You're the new warlord of Aurora, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you, but I didn't expect you to be this young. I suppose you need a bit of youth youthful energy in this rough old world. Maybe it's time for my generation to call it a day. Lord Monotori, how can you say such a thing? Our army would fall apart without your wisdom. Phew, no rest for the wicked, eh? I suppose I better do what's expected of me. Anyways, Greenleaf is uh, a unique kingdom, I guess. That's the only way to put it. Um, the way you win is a lot different than usual, first of all. Uh, as you can see, there's these random banners flying around. First of all, um, yeah, anyways, give our guests a cordial welcome. He's gonna have a Snivy, a Pan Sage, a Swaddle, and another Swaddle. So he has two Swaddles, a Snivy, and a Pan Sage. Anyways, as you can see, we have 15 turns. And yeah, he's gonna explain right here. What do you think it takes to win battles, Blaze? You're thinking strength, right? But strength alone is not enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? Doing battle is not just about defeating your enemies. He's gonna point to the banners, there's three of them. Stop on top of a banner to claim that banner for Blaze's army. There's um, three. Claim all the banners and victory is yours. So basically, yeah, he just mentioned it. We have to claim all the banners. Um, this one right here is really close to us. And there's one really close to him too. This one, uh, this one right here is the uh, one that uh, you can't have to work for. This uh, actually, yeah. If you, there are different grassy patches that are, uh, you know, shortcuts and stuff. They'll take you. This one will lead over here, or uh, sorry, and actually, yeah, it will. And I believe, yeah, this one that they're close to will lead over here, um, right here. We're actually closer to it because of that shortcut. Anyways, um, zooming in onto the top screen. Um, yeah, just kind of showing like I'm gonna be doing this at the beginning of every uh, one of these battles just kind of give an overview of uh, kind of what they have like the link um yeah the link the Pokemon and stuff like that like uh, Suwaddle can have different abilities like this one has stealth and this one has grass cloak this will raise defense once hit well before getting hit actually uh, by a move um, it, this will uh, make uh, your poke your opponent miss during certain turns Pan Sage, yeah, melee. That's that's actually an interesting ability. Uh, basically, if if uh, you're next to your opponent's Pokemon and your opponent's Pokemon gets hurt by you know one of your own Pokemon and you're right next to it, it'll get uh, even the your opponent's Pokemon will take even more damage, a little bit more because of melee. And Snivy has Overgrow, yeah, that's a like blaze. Just raises its attack a little bit. One slow, uh, low on HP. Anyways, a little overview. I'm not gonna give it a detailed overview, which you could do by. Uh, uh, you, you do by clicking A and clicking info and you can just check out all the Pokemon right now um, and all that in de uh, detail stuff that I talked about in uh, part 2 about Ignis Kingdom I said you can check all this out before the battle and during it during the battle like this I won't be doing this every part because it just takes uh, so much time I, I'm just gonna give like an overview of what the Pokemon is like and stuff especially in this type of kingdom where you don't even need to defeat them it doesn't really matter too much but Whatever, I'll, I'll get on with this, I guess. Um, oh, wrong button. Anyways, um, really, uh, you know, they are outnumbering me right now, but I'm not worried in the slightest because of the fact that, well, uh, oh, by the way, that, those vines grow and, you know, go back every turn, unless someone's on it, because then the way it works is they'd fall and they'd be trapped forever, so they can't make it like that. So yeah, and also around here there are a bunch of random traps, like holes that will just make you stay there for a few turns, not forever. So stuff like that. So watch out for those random traps. If you get stuck, you have to wait a couple turns. I'll be taking this shortcut actually to get over here. 
And I think, yeah, Dharma Cow, I wanted to claim this. Also, yeah, your HP will get restored a little bit if you're on a banner. And I'm gonna use this shortcut to get over here. It's not that big of a shortcut, but it does help because of the fact that there's those hedges. And yeah, so I think they're gonna capture that banner this turn. These this guy's trying to capture this one, but I'm definitely gonna get it. So really, I just had to fight for that banner that they're yeah they just captured right now. So I'm gonna have to fight for that one. But if I can uh, you know beat that uh, beat the swaddle on top of it pretty quickly, uh, I'm good. You don't have to. By the way, you don't have to stay on the banner to keep it as captured. Uh, you can just leave leave the banner. Um, but then it makes it easier for your enemy to kind of get it so that's why it's not recommended but you know you only have three pokemon so you might want to to kind of you know be able to double team them and oh Swallow fell in the trap that's unlucky usually it's me that's the one that falls in but oh well anyways uh now Swallow's is bugging grass which means it takes a lot of damage from flame wheel but i'm kind of i don't want to leave that middle flag open uh which i am Kind of leaving it open right now. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to try to take out the Snivy. Or yeah, I'm not definitely not gonna leave this flag with that Swallow right there. Um, actually, there's no way for me to attack Snivy with my thing because I need to have space for me to actually go and walk. Um, oh well, let's see. I'll try. Let me see what uh, Jigglypuff can do. Damn it! I didn't expect that. Uh, wow, definitely didn't expect that. I'm probably gonna have to go back to the flag with my Dharmaka now. Uh, this battle really isn't a challenge. It's just these random traps really waste a bunch of your turns. And especially if it's right there, then it can just attack me like that. And it's actually standing right there to go to the Shrugger, which will take it over here. Which means now it can actually take the flag. So I don't know why it did that, but... Whatever, it's your call. Um, Hopefully... Nope, he goes this way. I really wanted him to go for my Jigglypuff because I don't want him to take, uh, try to get the flag. That's when, yeah. Anyways, um, I don't know. Uh, actually, another thing, you can check the opponent's range by just going over them. Uh, that thing can't even move at all because of the trap. But yeah, like this, um, I believe, no, Pansage can't enter this. So I'm gonna actually go and attack. It actually does a decent amount of damage, honestly. So, um, yeah, especially a little bit of run-up boost, too. And, yeah, so one more hit and it should be down. So, I like that. And, oh, it's out of the shop. That's not good. And, oh, wow. He actually used the shrug to get back up. That's that's definitely smart. I'll give it that. Um, and, yes, Pansage fell on the trap. That's good. Now I can focus my energy on that Snivy. I actually don't care if the Snivy takes my takes the flag because I'm just gonna try to take it out. Uh, or I can, hmm, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to take out Snivy and the Pansage too. That I just hate being outnumbered like this. And oh wow, it actually took my potion because of the bug bites effect. Anyways, yes, okay. Now Jigglypuff is out of the trap, so this actually gives me a huge opportunity. And that's let's see how much damage I can do. Oh yes, oh double critical. Wow, one more of those double staffs, and most likely I can take this thing out. That's amazing. Um, nope, actually, you know what? Um, I'm gonna protect my flag because I'm really close to just winning right now. I don't want to take any chances. And this is a grass cloak one, so you can kind of see its ability in action. The whole defensive maneuver thing. And oh darn you, Banner. The music here is really calming, I gotta say. I mean, it's green leaf, it's like a grass kingdom, so you know, it's really like natural and really calm. Which kind of makes sense for a grass kingdom, I guess you can say. So yeah. And it doesn't matter how much you hurt me, because uh, I'm gonna sit right here, buddy boy. And actually, I'll take this opportunity to take out the Pan Sage because thankfully, with the Flame Wheels effect, I can just rampage through and I can still keep the flag. I like this. And oh, looking at that damage, it's going to be a KO. The reason it's darker in color is because it's super effective, by the way. 
if you haven't like, caught on to that. But yeah, that's why it's dark in color because it's super effective. And uh, let's see. If I can get another critical, I am. Wow, I'm getting the opposite of critical right here. And oh, yes. Okay, now if I can just uh, keep this for one turn, I win. So yeah, I can finally get this over with. And I don't know why I'm even wasting my time attacking this thing. It's not like it can take me out. So I'm really just wasting my time. Anyways, bug bite, of course. And wait for it guys, wait for it. We're about to get ourselves another kingdom. Which basically means we have like three kingdoms under our custody now. Which is awesome. Not custody, I'm, I'm saying like I'm a police officer. I mean like, I would have three kingdoms, that's basically what I'm trying to say. And boom, just walking in and yeah. We did it, victory is ours. Victory, I love how that just appears like that, it's amazing. And yeah. That's just some gallery stuff. Anyways, um, yeah. Awesome sauce. Uh, Pansage can be recruited. That's awesome, actually. Uh, really would be great for Fontaine because of the fact that uh, Pansage has Vine Whip. Uh, Swaddle, even though it's part grass, both uh, they only have uh, they have Bug Bite as their which is a Bug type move, so it wouldn't be good. So I'm actually really glad I, got, I can get Pansage. I knew the day would finally come when I face defeat on my own battlefield, Lord Motonari. Surely now I can be left in peace. You are a more worthy warlord for Greenleaf than I, Blaze. I ask only that you take good care of my beloved kingdom. And yes, I'm gonna be recruiting Pan Sage. Awesome for when I put in my team. And yeah, saving time. And uh, advance to the next one. Now, um, I'm gonna be uh, uh, before I go into Fontaine. I'll just uh, I'm gonna go and explore Greenleaf, like I'll, you know, I'm gonna be doing in every part, just exploring the place. Um, anyways, Pony Pony Giri Shop. I already talked about what that is. This is actually pretty interesting. Mine uh, and gold mines you can go and mine for gold, which is you know currency here. Uh, I'll show you guys actually. Ah, new face. I see. Welcome. Would you like to tell me how to use the gold mine? Or yeah, I was gonna yes, I know it's not really difficult. This place right here is where you can uh, dig for gold. Be sure to dig powerfully to unearth as much as you can. Between uh, what can be done with gold, well, you can exchange it for goods at the shop for a start. All right, it's time to start digging for gold. Let's go. Uh, it's really dull. All that happens, um, basically, you you come to a black screen for two seconds and it gives you a random number of uh, gold. I don't know why they didn't make it some sort of a mini game. It would be pretty fun to make uh, getting gold a uh, mini game or something. But it's just a black screen and then you get gold. Also, your link will be improved a little bit, which is good. And I got a lot of gold actually now. Not not a lot. I mean, I got I mean I got a lot from that. Anyways, by the way, I just want to mention something. I do live record all my games. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I do live record all my games. So that's why um I'm playing and recording my uh my narration at the same time so that's why um, it's more in sync I don't like post narrating because um, the way when you're recording just like just recording you're not talking you're gonna be going through it a lot faster which means when you're post narrating you're not gonna have enough time and you don't really know what to talk about but when you're live narrating you're in the in the mood I guess you're like right there so you, you know you have some talk about and things like that which is why I definitely like live narrating better and that's why I do it for all my videos so. Maybe in the future, actually no, probably even in the future, I'm probably always gonna live narrate. I just like it a lot more. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna enter back here again because uh, the mine wasn't what I wanted to show. Um, right here in another ravine, uh, zooming in onto the top screen shows uh, some Pokemon, uh, some free warriors. There's three, and then there's three free warriors, and then just a random wild cottony there. But yeah. Um, there it's pretty cool. You can get yourself a car carnivine or a cotton if you want. Uh, there's different things depending on you know it's, it is randomly placed uh, some things, but I'm I believe you'll most likely have a cotton here. Um, if you didn't, if you weren't able to recruit any Pokemon from the kingdom, which can happen depending on how you get the kingdom. If you weren't able to, then I do recommend getting like one of these grass types. Carnivine is very good. It has Vine Whip as well. 
Uh, but yeah, if you want, go ahead and do that. But Pan Sage, um, I already got a Pan Sage, so it won't be. Anyways, in the next row, we'll be taking on the Kingdom of Fontaine. So I'll see you guys then.